Hello, my chinas, and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided I wanted to film a quick get ready with me. Well, actually, this might not be quick, but I have to make it quick. A quick get ready with me. So we have a few things going on today. We have a baby shower and we have a birthday party to go to. So I'm gonna get my I'm gonna do my makeup. By the way, my hand is stained, even though I scrubbed it because I was um swatching lip liners because i want to do a red lip so for this makeup look i want to do a cool tone eye and red lip something i've actually never done because i'm wearing silver shoes i wanted to i'm looking for my mirror where is my mirror i wanted to do a cool tone eye because i might wear silver um earrings too so i'm just gonna start priming my lids using my concealer this is the one that i love you guys know the Too faced born this way absolutely love it and then this is also one of my favorite brushes this is the it cosmetics i mean you guys have heard me talk about this a million times but it's just so good so i'm just gonna go ahead and prime i always do it with my concealer i know there's primers out there but honestly for me a concealer works great eyes are primed so the reason why i'm wearing silver heels and they're small heels where did i get those did i get them i think i got them at schutz these are sh they're either Schutz or Tony Bianco. I bought them for, I bought them last year, not last year, the year before that for Patrick Starr's disco theme birthday party. I think it was disco theme. Okay, so this is the palette that I'm wearing or that I'm using. Hazy eyeshadow palette from Sigma. It's this really cute, cool tone palette. So I thought it'd be perfect for this look. So I bought those shoes for Patrick Starr's um, birthday party and I haven't worn them since, I don't think. And the baby shower theme, which by the way, the baby shower is Erica Casual Allure. I don't know if you guys follow her on Instagram. She's so cute. Go follow her. She has a, a shopping soiree that she does um, a few Sundays out of the month, I think. And so I'm go we're going to her baby shower. And the baby shower theme is disco. So I'm going to wear like the heels. I'm going to wear jeans and like a simple outfit, but I thought the heels would be cute. So I'm going to start off. Should I start off? I'm going to start off with this one here. And this is Mist. This one here. That's gonna be like my transition. These colors are so pretty. I'm gonna start placing it on the crease and this is going to be my transition. Like I said, I normally don't do warm or uh, cool tone eyes like ever. So I thought this would be fun. I'm gonna try to do something simple though. I'm not gonna try, I don't wanna get too carried away. So we're just gonna blend this out. I'm also using a Sigma brush. This is the Beauty Bird X Sigma. Sorry, if you guys see me looking this way it's because I'm looking at my monitor because I like to look at like my whole face. The light might change a little bit right now. I don't want to. Yeah, just a little bit. All right, so I had it on one, bring down the brightness a little bit because I felt like I looked a little blown out. Okay, now I'm gonna take this color here and this is petal and I'm just going to apply that at the corner. I just want to deepen up um, the corner and I'm just going to place it on the outer because I want to add a little bit of depth there we go I don't know about you guys but I love baby showers I love baby showers I love gender reveals they just make me so happy there's just some like there's just an energy that babies bring I'm super excited to be going to her baby shower also talking about baby showers I got so many DMs like I was shooketh on how many DMs I got asking me if Yasmin and I are no longer friends because I did not go to her baby shower. My thing is like, how do you, how is it that how did those people go from like, they must not be friends because she wasn't at her baby shower. Like, absolutely not. Yes, we are still friends. I love Yasmin so much. The reason why I didn't go to the baby shower, and I did say this on social, but obviously maybe you guys missed it because stories only last 24 hours. The reason why I didn't go to the baby shower is because that was the same weekend as my cousin's bridal shower and there was family over so i couldn't leave my family um i just felt bad just being like bye guys i have places to be things to do but she understood so yes we are still friends like i said i love yasna we literally just went to hawaii together um had the absolute best time uh, and we've actually traveled quite a bit we i don't know if you guys know if you guys maybe are new here maybe you guys don't know but yasna and i actually um have I been covering like this? No, right? You guys could see what I'm doing. I always ask questions as if you guys can answer me like in the moment. And the reason why is because I literally feel like I'm talking to my friends when I do my makeup. But we have traveled quite a bit together. We went to Bahamas together. That was our first trip together. It was for her birthday a few years back. We went to Europe together. That was my first time in Europe. She had already been there. And uh, I think she went to Paris for her honeymoon with Valentin a few years back. 
and we went together and had such an amazing time. Like I will never forget when we got to Paris. Um, one, when I got to Paris, I cried because it had been a dream of mine to see the Eiffel Tower and to actually physically be there. I felt so grateful and it was just such a moment. Uh, but we ended up at a club like on a boat and we partied till like four in the morning. We walked home. I think we we tried to stop at like a McDonald's or something, but it was closed. Oh my God, it was so, so much fun. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this color here and this is called Fancy Full. That's how I'm gonna feel once I apply this. I'm gonna feel very fancy. I'm gonna take that on a flat brush. I'm ho oh yeah, oh yeah. And I'm just gonna take this pretty high because I want my, my lid. Oh my God, this setting spray. <laughs> I just sprayed the Morphe one, the one, the, the collab with uh, Sour Patch Kids, and it smells so good. Like candy, it smells better than delicious. Makes me want to have a Sour Patch Kid right now. It literally smells like the strawberry, the watermelon one. I added a little bit of melancholy to the corner. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. It just to kind of deepen it, you guys can see. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to this side, just like the smallest amount just to deepen it up a little bit more. I do wish the silver eyeshadow was a little bit more pigmented. It's not giving it to me the way that I would want it to. All right, Michelle, I'm gonna add my lashes and I will be right back. I feel like the lashes, I'm gonna adjust the lashes before I leave. I tried a new lash glue and I feel like it is definitely not cooperating, but my other one is in my makeup room, so don't pay attention to the lashes. I will fix that. So I already played, applied my Rare Beauty primer. I'm gonna go in with this foundation. This is the Makeup Forever HD. This is an oldie but a goodie. I actually had not used this in a while look at this oh my gosh i had not used it in a while uh but they sent me one it wasn't my right shade but the one i have is my right shade and i'm like you know what i haven't used that foundation let me use it so i'm gonna take my it cosmetics um brush and i'm gonna start applying it and this foundation i am in y365 it is literally my perfect match like when i'm tan Obvious. So I'm just going to press this into the skin. It is a medium coverage foundation, but you can always build it up. I love this brush. I have yet to find a foundation brush that I love as much as I love this one. It just blends the foundation so seamless. Like you don't even have to do a lot of work. I'm gonna take the other side. This is why I love this brush and just get close to the brows because obviously the brush is a little bit bigger, so I can't get in that area oh my pelitos i feel like this eye look turned more a little bit more purple than i wanted i'm gonna go in with the makeup forever concealer and just get in there because this one is not that brightening i'm actually gonna go in with another concealer to brighten it and i'm actually gonna use this brush i have this brush from bare minerals that i've been wanting to try so i'm gonna use this to kind of blend and I'm just gonna tap and then on the, on the edges you want to blend out. I like this little brush And it's nice because I could really get into the like, corner of the eye. What is this? This is a shade and diffuse eye bare minerals nice Why haven't I been using it now that we have that I'm gonna take a little bit of my Too Faced born this way in nude and I'm just going to Apply it to highlight. I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender all right, Michelle, and now to warm up and contour the face, we're gonna be using the Anastasia Cream Bronzer in Caramel. And I'm gonna take this brush, this is the e.l.f. Putty Primer brush, and I'm just going to press it in, grab some product, and then just start stamping it on the face. This bronzer is literally the best bronzer. It is the best bronzer out there. At least the best cream bronzer in my opinion if you guys haven't tried it give it a try it blends out like a dream now we're gonna set the makeup and i'm gonna be using the new makeup forever setting spray this is in golden beige so i'm gonna take a little bit of this a little bit of this powder on a big fluffy brush these are all i don't know if i told you guys but these are all from the beauty bird x sigma I'm just gonna start setting my makeup this powder um, I did my makeup yesterday and I used it for the first time and it just sets but it feels so light like you don't feel Your face dry once you set the powder you set the powder with the setting spray It's like you never even had a powder Now we're gonna go in with vanilla and we are gonna set our under eyes. I wish you guys could see how messy my table is it is 
very messy. Are you guys like, when you guys do your makeup, do you, are you guys like organized? You put the stuff right back? Um, or do you guys throw things everywhere like I do? I literally throw things everywhere. I forgot it came with this little sponge, so I'm gonna take the sponge. Yesterday that I set my makeup, I did it with my beauty blender, but let's try this little sponge. Mmm, this is nice. Perfect little line. Okay, so while we let that happen, I'm gonna finish the eyes, and I'm literally gonna do the same thing I did on top, on the bottom, and I'll be right back. I went ahead and finished the rest of my face. I did add a little bit of blush, but I'm gonna add a little bit more because you can never have too much blush. This is the MAC Melba blush, and I'm gonna take this um, Smashbox brush. Every time I have to say brush and blush, it's like a total tongue twister. I'm gonna mix actually a little bit of this one. This one's from um, The Balm, and it is cold. Hound's Tooth, and I'm gonna take a little bit of this one just because it has a little bit more of a deeper like purpley undertone. Okay, and I'm gonna reset. This is the Morphe um, X Sour Patch Kids collection. This smells so good. Oh my god, you guys, I have 10 minutes. All right, Michelaz, I am back, and I ended up not going with the red lip because I felt like it did not go. Um, so I went with a, you know, true nude. I did use my Makeup Forever in, in Total Taupe, and then on top, I topped it with the Kristen Dominique Sweet Nectar, and on top of that, I'm gonna top it with the Petal Posh Petal from Morphe. This is the Make It Big Gloss, so I'm just gonna... A little bit of gloss. And I love this gloss. I feel like it's so pretty and it goes with everything. So I'm going to set this aside. I always take a setting powder, a brush, my lash glue, because there's always one lash that wants to act act up when you're at a party, um, and my lip stuff, So and my perfume. So this is it. And like I told you guys, the theme of the baby shower is disco baby. So that's why I'm wearing these little earrings. And this is why I wanted to go with cool tones, because I'm going to wear silver. Thank you guys so much, Miss Chulas, for joining me on this Chisme con la Chula while I get ready. But I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!